Hey, this is the Long Lost Gamer, back after a long time away with a fresh round of Civilization VI. Today we're going to play as Jayavarman VII of the Kamai Empire, playing on Deity, of course, uh, Pangaea map, standard size map, let's go Abundant Resources, uh, New World Age, Temperature, we leave that alone, Rainfall, Wet, and we've got Secret Societies mode on. So that's going to be the setup for the beginning of this game. We may re-roll the map a couple times, not too many. It just depends on whether or not we get lucky with rivers in the beginning. Let's get started. All right, so just a quick overview of the abilities of Jayavarman and the Kamai Empire. We've got Monasteries of the King. Holy sites are granted a major adjacency with rivers a culture bomb, food bonus equal to its adjacency bonus, and plus two housing if on a river. There's also Grand Bares. Cities with an aqueduct receive an extra amenity from entertainment and plus one faith for every population. Farms provide plus two food if adjacent to an aqueduct and plus one faith if adjacent to a holy site. We also have a nice unique land unit, the Domre and the Prasa, a unique building that will make culture an extremely easy thing for us to acquire in this playthrough. All right, here we are. So where are we going to get started? I think we'll move the warrior down here just a little. Uh, it seems pretty straightforward to me that settling on the diamonds would probably be better than just settling in place. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so let's found our capital move our warrior and the first thing we are going to do is to build a scout for research we really want to get to astrology as fast as possible so I think we might just go directly for that because getting a religion is uh, incredibly important as the Kamai in particular and we're working on code of laws let's keep moving okay probably could have a nice Petra city over here you know, something like this just plop down the Petra somewhere where are you here we are something like that maybe holy site here and could end up probably uh, we'll see I don't like to plan too much ahead of time. All right, we can probably count on putting a holy site either on this location or directly to the east of the capital. Found a tribal village already. That's nice. Ooh, a free builder. <laughs> That's about as good as it gets in the beginning of the game. Uh, we don't really have anything to do with the free builder at the moment, so we might actually use it as a little bit of a scout. I'm not going to go too aggressive with scouting with a builder. That's usually a bad idea, but uh, a little bit should be okay. Yeah, we got a bunch of chops here, too. Okay, we'll have him get this tribal village, and then we'll bring the warrior back towards the capital to pretend protect, rather, against barbarians, one of which I've just now discovered. Okay, good, he didn't go for my builder. Go ahead and take that. We've discovered the Void Singers. Uh, that's excellent, because that is the secret society that we wish to have. Uh, what did that give us? Another builder. Wow, okay. That's uh, pretty interesting luck to start off the game with. I'll take it. And we've already built one scout. I think we will just go directly into another scout. We're playing on Pangaea, so uh, getting out as much uh, map information as we can early in the game is generally a pretty good idea. We have our first governor title because of discovering the Void Singer Secret Society that gives you uh, an instant bonus governor title. I could use it to go ahead and take 
the Void Singers, but I don't think that's actually very useful right now. We will do this later once we already have uh, a couple of monuments around. Uh, generally, I do tend to go with Magnus as my opening governor, not Pingala, even though he's quite a popular choice. Magnus provides uh, a lot of bonuses if you are planning on doing a lot of settling and I am hoping to be able to do a lot of settling in this game. Um, I think we'll hold off for the time being. Perhaps because we're getting the extra governor title it might be useful to take Pingala now and switch to Magnus once we've got uh, one or two extra governor title promotions to give to him. So let's go ahead and take Pingala. Maybe he'll get us to astrology just a little more quickly, perhaps. Oh, we've already met the Maori. That's not a very threatening civilization. They probably have one of the worst AI uh, programming sets in the entire game. Oh, there they are. Okay, we're, we don't want to go east because we know barbarians are over there. Just bring that builder back. There's the barbarian scout. <laughs> wow. That's a lot of tribal villages around here. Okay, we'll bring our scout over here and maybe mess with Barbarian Scout just a little. Wow, the Maori already really dislike me. That's fine. I am not concerned in the slightest. I've just got a boost to foreign trade. Must have discovered another continent. Yep. I think we should go ahead and take that additional tribal village before looking for the barbarians. Oh my gosh, another tribal village. Some games I go... Mo three builders. Oh my goodness. Streamer luck. I have never gotten three builders in a row from tribal villages before. This is crazy. Can the builder get us another builder from this one? Nope. Got a Eureka. Okay. Well, that feels a little bit more fair. All right, so we're going to bring this scout around in this direction. And we are no longer going to build scouts. We could build something like a slinger for a little extra defense. It's not the worst idea, but I don't feel particularly threatened at the moment. So we're going to go directly into a settler. Um, it would be nice if we could get that settler out before we build the holy site. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Mm, that's really unfortunate. I think I'll just go ahead and let the Maori take a shot at this barbarian. I think that'll be just fine. I think we should probably bring this builder back to be safe as well. All right, there's the barbarian camp discovered. Excellent. I'll go ahead and grab that. We got the Eureka for bronze working. I'll take it. Not very exciting, because that's a very easy Eureka to get anyway. Oh, Barbarian Scout might. We're going to go ahead and put in Discipline for plus 5 unit combat strength when fighting Barbarians. Also, God King for the extra faith and gold. We want a Pantheon relatively quickly. Yeah, we'll go ahead and smash that Barbarian for the next... Civic, we'll just go ahead and take foreign trade because it's already boosted. And this scout, I guess, can work together to hopefully kill the barbarian scout and retrieve this builder that we have running around here. Didn't take my builder. Interesting. That's not what I expected. Okay, let's bring this scout down here to protect and you can go around and keep exploring. I don't 
think we need to work on that slinger at this point. So we'll switch back to the settler, put a few turns into that, then swap to the holy site, and I think we can uh, chop out some of this stone to get uh, to our goals a little more quickly. Another barbarian camp in the north. Hmm. Okay, well, that'll keep me busy. Oh, we got a wonder over here. Gosh, I wish I'd found that a lot earlier. Astrology would already be finished. Oh, now the Maori kind of love me. <laughs> they already denounced me, so... Uh, we're not going to be trading or doing anything interesting together for a long time. Yep, there's Paititi. That sure would be a nice wonder to get my hands on. We'll see. See if we can make it happen. I kind of expect some AI sieves to be close by here, though. Alright, so we're going to swap now over to mining for tech, so we can start doing something useful with these builders. We are going to immediately place down our holy site, and as far as I'm concerned, this is uh, an excellent location for it, so we'll go ahead and pop that down. And yes, we want to auto-delete tax. Bring them back now. How are we doing over here? Can we attack again? Yes. Oh, that wasn't quite enough for an upgrade or er, promotion. Interesting. Can we kill him? Yeah. Hope there wasn't a... Ooh. Okay. Yep, that was a mistake. <laughs> We are absolutely reloading this turn. I am not going to let my warrior be killed that easily. Was a bit of a greedy move on my part. Alright, and we're back. Okay, this builder is just going to wait. We are going to heal with this warrior. And this scout can journey along. Met Gandhi, okay. They already got Paititi. Hmm, that's too bad. Oh, we got Nazca in the game. Well, it still looks like we have a fair amount of space to settle. Uh, I really, honestly, I almost never get natural wonders in my empire. It just doesn't seem to work out that way. Okay, so he survived that hit. Uh, we're going to immediately take the Battle Cry promotion, plus 7 combat strength, versus melee and ranged units. Let's take that. That'll keep him safe against this barbarian here. This builder waits again. This scout will keep exploring. Uh, I should probably send a delegation. Oh, he already won't accept it. Well, that's fine. Who needs to have friends anyway? Yeah. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and kill the barbarian camp. And move along over here. Okay, killed that barbarian warrior. Should probably send that scout up to the north. There's often a couple extra tribal villages up there that get neglected by the AI. Okay, that's not great. So, well, we do have plenty of money to go ahead and buy some units. Why don't we do that? Let's get the slinger. That'll help protect us while we bring our warrior back to heal and then to take out the barbarian camp to the north. And yeah, we're going to set this guy up to explore the tundra here. There's mining, so we will go ahead and drop a quarry here for now. It's not going to stay there all that long, but might as well take the boost from it. Oh, we didn't get a boost. What? Is it already boosted? Masonry is already boosted. I guess I got a Eureka from that uh, tribal village for masonry. Hmm. Oh well. 
put down a mine. And we'll put down another mine. Kind of boring, but sure. For now, why not? Ooh, another tribal village. What are we going to get? 20 faith? Uh, I'll take it. That just made uh, the path to getting a pantheon a lot shorter. We've already met three city-states. How about that? Yerevan, that's another good one to have for us. Yerevan and Nazca, those are both very useful for me to have in this game. All right, next up, we want to go ahead and grab... I think animal husbandry, perhaps? Although I'd really like masonry specifically so I can harvest stone. I don't think it's worth going straight for it. However, instead, let's go ahead and get uh, animal husbandry. I don't think we're going to find any horses in the capital, but... Alright, we got our holy site. And that was a plus four uh, adjacency holy site, so we did get the... Era score for having a splendid holy site plus three or higher, I think, is what's needed. Yeah, for my first holy site with a high adjacency bonus. All right, that's good. Now we get to choose our pantheon. What's available? Should we go for another free builder? No, <laughs> definitely not. What else we got? We want the river goddess, I think. Yeah, river goddess definitely fits with the MO of the Kamai, and we've got, you know, a few rivers around, so good chance that many of our cities will be able to put holy sites on rivers. Go ahead and take that. And that gives us the Eureka for mysticism. That's right. Okay. Alright, you guys have nothing to do for the time being. It's nice to have you around, but... Uh, just put them to sleep. And this looks interesting. I wonder if I can sneak in killing that barbarian camp. It's not impossible. Not taking a hit. It's okay, we're going to heal the warrior right away, and we will move this scout down here just for a little extra map information, and yeah, I think we can nab this, cool, got an extra 30 gold, nothing wrong with that. Our production is pretty good, we're moving on to making a settler, uh, after that we do want the shrine. How are we doing on Great Profits? Uh, it looks like it's only me and one other person currently generating Great Profit points, so perhaps we won't need to worry about that too much. Okay, we should definitely take a promotion on this scout. I'm going to go ahead and take the Alpine promotion. Honestly, the choice between Ranger and Alpine is um, pretty f even. It doesn't matter which one you take, however... When you get the promotion, if you see a lot of hill tiles around you immediately, might as well take that, or uh, vice versa, if there's a lot of woods and rainforest immediately around your scout. Okay, next civic will take craftsmanship. Definitely craftsmanship. Do we want to change policy cards? Yeah, we have our pantheon, so we no longer need God King. And because we settled on the gems diamonds i always forget what that luxury resource actually is uh we're we're getting pretty good gold income already for the beginning of the game so we'll put urban planning in instead and let's just take a look what is that diamonds it is diamonds uh-oh that's a little scary i suppose i could just buy another slinger i don't really have all that much to use my gold on so yeah, let's do that. I think we're about to have quite a flood of barbarian units coming at our capital. Ooh, that's a big ol' eruption right here. Nice that I did hit one of these barbarian units, though. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and attack this horseman. This unit might end up dying. I'm so sorry, scout. Uh, we'll bring the warrior up here. A little more scouting. Found Cahokia. Also useful. I'd love to bring my slinger up in that direction, but that's not possible yet. Alright, so let's take a moment and figure out where else do I want to put cities. And I think that's a hill. Okay. So yeah, we could put a city there. That wouldn't be bad. Be pretty okay with that. Uh, we could put a city on one of these coastal tiles. Maybe on the maze? That's kind of an odd choice, but... Where else would we want to put them? The Petra City doesn't make sense for the time being, because uh, it'll need too much help to get going. But I think there is a good chance we end up making a city there eventually. Uh, clearly we need to put a city somewhere in this direction. Uh, I wish we could find some more water around here, but I guess we are incentivized to make aqueducts as well. So we might put a city here with holy site here. I think that would be pretty good. And put an aqueduct wherever um, here, perhaps. Something like that. Okay. That might be the next city to settle. That might not be a bad idea. We'll move this guy along. Let's make the shrine. And then we'll make probably two settlers after that. Yeah, that scout's dead, dead, dead. Oh, boy. Alright, we'll go ahead and start bringing our military units around. Let's move this slinger back in this direction. What do we want to research next? Let's take pottery, because we want those granaries. You stay there, you fortify. Preemptively put this slinger here so it can heal more quickly inside the city center. Okay, I think with this slinger we're going to go ahead and take down the health of this horseman a little bit. That's unfortunate. Slinger's taking hits like a champ. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take Volley for promotion here. And you can just get another safe hit off over here. Let's do that. I do not care about fighting this Slinger over here. Go ahead and found our second city, Encore Wat. Okay, so somehow, some way, I want to, if at all possible, create uh, the wonder on Korwat in this city must be built adjacent to an aqueduct is that the only requirement could we for instance build it here yeah game says yes so we're gonna try and that's tied to an achievement uh, for the Kamai Empire. Alright, so we can chop woods. Alright, that's excellent. In that case, we're going to do that to immediately get started on yet another holy site for this city. Boom. That's perfect. 15 turns for that. So we probably do want to bring this guy over here. Uh, Slinger needs to heal inside of the city of Angkor Wat. Angkor or Tom's doing pretty good already size 4. All of its tiles are pretty productive. Maori are upset with me yet again because I chopped one forest down, I guess. 
Jeez, I can't make you guys happy. Ah, Gandhi likes me a little bit better now, it appears. And this is a problem. Oh, shoot. Okay. How am I going to go about doing this? I think we will pull the slinger back for now. This guy is probably going to die. Sorry, warrior. Now let's try to improve our relationship with Gandhi, maybe. Perhaps he would be willing to pay me some gold for my diamonds. Yep, a gold per turn. I'll take that because I think we're probably going to have to buy a unit or two. I think the horse archer is not that strong of a unit, so I'm going to take my chances. Perhaps this warrior won't die to it next turn. Edamananki and pyramids have already been built. Wow, turn 36. Okay, so we'll fortify in place for the time being. We're going to chop here to slightly speed up another settler. Only one extra turn. That kind of sucked. But I think we're going to hide you inside of Angkor Wat for now because we could put a mine on that volcanic soil right there and that would be an excellent tile. Alright, what happens here? Yeah, he did survive. It's really not enough, though. I think we pull the slinger back into here, bring our warrior down here. Probably going to lose that warrior, too, I guess. Yeah, we need to wake up this slinger and attack the barbarian horse archer. I guess we have no choice but to go for archery at this point. Alright, there's craftsmanship. We might change our government a little bit for that. We'll see. But for now, we're going to bring this slinger over here, this warrior to here, this builder. Oops. <laughs> oh well. Misclick. But it's not a big deal. State workforce would be good. Early empire would be fantastic. And we will have the Eureka for that pretty soon. So yeah, we'll go straight for early empire. Uh, you can't build the holy site at the moment. So we'll get working on the monument. Gosh, we've got barbarians over here as well. It's a lot to deal with. Attack one more time there. We're not building military units yet. I think that the plus five combat strength against barbarians is more important for the time being. And this slinger can finish off this barbarian horse archer. That works for me. This builder needs to run away a little bit. And now you're defending against a regular Barbarian Horseman. I'd like to take the promotion, but we do want to kill these guys. And you need to heal. Of archery in four turns. We'll have enough gold in the bank to upgrade both of our Slingers. What, what are you doing, Maori? You're bringing a Settler over here? Oh my gosh. Oh, looks like another sieve down in that direction. Yeah, that slinger is going to heal for a bit. Uh, this warrior probably really just wanted to heal for the most part, but I'll take one attack at this horse archer. Bring this slinger down. Now you heal. You can take your promotion. And I think we'll take volley on this one as well. There are the Romans. Nice to meet you, Trajan. Sure, we'll sample your hospitality. And not only that, I will make a point of sending you a delegation right away. 
and actually let's check in with India. No, still won't take a delegation. All right, two turns till a settler. Hopefully we can blow apart this horse archer at least. Shrine's been pillaged. That sucks, but we are well ahead for the next great prophet. Uh, let's switch back to the holy site here and away from the monument. And I do think it's not a bad idea to put a mine there. Uh, goodness. We really need these archers. Too much barbarian nonsense. Okay, there's the Eureka for early empire. Let's go ahead and attack this horse archer. Almost dead. Rolled a little low, unfortunately. We'll bring this builder back to keep him safe. Alright, still didn't discover that other civilization. That's fine. Get a little air score for building on top of uh, land that has been affected by a natural disaster for the first time. And we already have enough mines for the boost for apprenticeship. That's a little surprising. Uh, this slinger is going to stay right here. There's another barbarian outpost over here. Goodness gracious. Okay, they completely pillaged my holy site, of course. Uh, he wants to give me amber. I'll take it. A little more happiness could be useful. Is he willing to take a delegation? Nope. Of course not. That makes sense. That barbarian horseman stepped off the holy site, so we can start making some progress. Uh, let's attack here, and the slinger will pull up to here and upgrade to an archer, and here we immediately go back into repairing the holy site. This settler could go to a few different places. Honestly, I kind of want to forward settle to the west, but I think I've got time. So it might behoove me to settle down to the southeast a little bit. Yeah, I think that's the plan. We could send a builder over with them to chop out a place for a holy site. It's probably not a bad idea. This builder waits. And there is Nubia. Okay, hey Nubia. Sure, we'll sample your hospitality, too. As much as I'd like to upgrade this slinger to an archer, I think first we will take out that barbarian unit. Unfortunately, just a normal era, not a golden era. Hopefully, we get that on the next rollover. Okay, we will take masonry next. I'd really like to chop out the couple of stones that we've got here. I would love it if the barbarians up here actually managed to kill this warrior and we could get a free settler from the Maori. That would be amazing. This guy really still just needs to heal. Uh, I think we will bring the archer forward to the holy site just to make sure it's nicely protected. And we can keep this builder in here for the time being. Let's go ahead and try and get some more information on Nubia, and before I forget... Ah! Oh, was I already too late to send a delegation? My goodness. Yeah, we'll go ahead and upgrade this slinger into an archer as well. Let's fix the shrine, and we will then go back into a settler. Almost got early empire. That's a good thing. Can't work on the holy site, of course. Oh gosh, we might need to run a holy site prayer in Angkor Thom. Let's go ahead and do that. As much as I want to get those settlers out, I know I'll catch up eventually. Alright, we can start pushing the barbarians a little bit. Where are we going to put the government plaza? Well, we could put an okay, I mean, really not very good campus there, but then if we put the government plaza here. It becomes plus four. That's pretty solid. I think I'd be happy with that for Angkor Thom. One more turn, we'll settle that city. And we'll 
bring this archer to here, this warrior to here. And as much as I'd like to keep exploring the world to the west, I do think it's a good idea to get map information on your neighbors early in the game. And now we'll go for bronze working. I don't think that'll ruin very many uh, placements on my map here. Okay, there's early empire. Uh, that is going to result in us switching over to colonization for additional production towards settlers. Maybe not yet. Maybe we should make the government plaza first and then switch to colonization. I think that's what I'll do. Alright, let's pop this city down. Harihara Laya. Okay. And we'll chop the woods here, I think. Where are we going to put the holy site? Yeah, that's plus. this is plus four, but it's only plus four because it's surrounded by woods. Then again, this city doesn't have very many hill tiles, so I might want to keep a lot of these woods instead of chopping them. So I might just go for this plus four holy site right on the hills. In the desert hills. Yeah, let's do it. We can save that chop for something else. All right, maybe we'll just go ahead and hide this character in here for the time being. And we will next take state workforce. Uh, we do not yet want to take Magnus. I need two promotions to make good use of Magnus. But we'll have to the second promotion very soon. Yeah, let's go ahead and swap him in, and we will put Pingala into Angkor Wat for the time being. Angkor Wat will become a very large city. And we'll bring this warrior up. Archer heals a little bit. Bring this archer up to see what's going on. Meteor shower down there. Aww. Well, there aren't any barbarian camps nearby, so this builder might be able to claim it. He's still not going to take a delegation from me. Probably going to have to do open borders first. Okay, so where does that put us? Two turns away from getting a great profit. This provides faith and religious pressure every turn, but only great profit points once finished, and I'm going to get it in a couple turns anyway. So I don't think it's worth... I need 20 more points. No, yeah, it is worth doing one more Holy Site Prayer. Make sure that we at least get the third profit. A little frustrating, but that's just how it goes on Deity. Why in the world would that spearman attack my archer of all things? Strange. Okay, we'll bring this warrior to the west to maybe start dealing with that barbarian encampment. Monotore wants to trade marble to me. I will take it. it. brings one of my cities up to being happy. That's pretty nice. Uh, we might be able to do open borders now. Yeah, okay. How much gold will you give me? Barely any. Okay. And can I do a delegation now? Nope, still not. Maori, you want to do some open borders? Yeah, but he wants me to pay him 11 gold. Not a big deal. Amanatore, what do you think? One gold? Sure. Trajan? One gold per turn. They all, all pretty much all want me to pay them. That's kind of unusual. And still nobody wants my delegations. Yeah. Figures. If we could be friends with every Civ, honestly, I'd be perfectly content with that. Um, the Kaimai can 
suffice for any victory condition, but they are especially strong at culture games. And in my opinion, average culture game, play as peacefully as possible. That's probably the most straightforward way of uh, reaching that victory screen. All right, so we'll finish the Holy Site prayers in the next turn, and that should guarantee us a great profit. Yep, don't mind if I do. How many religions are already gone? Three. Three. So I'm glad I got that profit now. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'll probably l lose this builder and then immediately have to rescue it with a military unit. That's not that great. Uh, shucks. Okay, we're going to hold off on actually making the religion for just a little longer. We want to have as many cities with holy sites as possible, so we'll at least wait till Angkor Wat's got uh, its holy site taken care of. They cleared out that barbarian camp. That's fine, so I guess they're probably going to want to settle the city around there. Well, I would be okay with that. It would uh, just flip over to me pretty quickly. Alright, Angkor Tom. Uh, you still cannot make another district because we are waiting for state workforce. So this might be a good time to grab a monument or a few turns into a settler. I think I'll go with the latter. I really want to have see it's turn 52 I'd like to see myself get up to eight cities by turn 100 roughly should be doable bronze is the mirror. there's bronze working uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that I don't really need this builder to be alive We'll see what happens with that builder in the next turn. Monitori wants to sell me horses. I do not need to buy horses. We're going to go ahead and research writing. Alright, that spearman did not have any interest in grabbing my builder. That works for me. Another barbarian scout from out of nowhere. We'll go ahead and kill that with a chariot. Just, oh, that's unfortunate. Let this archer heal up, and we do need to bring this chariot down here. Oh, that's surprising. Okay, so let's go ahead and move the builder closer to the chariot. Oh, they've got archers. I don't love that. Alright, switching over to a government plaza now. Plop that down right away. Only a four turn build, but we can even scoot that along and finish it <laughs> completely in that turn. Okay, that works for me. And we'll go ahead and promote uh, Magnus with provision so settlers no longer consume population in the city where he is and we actually have the ability to put out one more promotion so I'm thinking we put that in Pingala and to Connoisseur and that'll move us to political philosophy that much quicker and then we can get our ancestral hall uh, so we can get even more free builders while we are settling cities. Minor resource I don't think we're going to be able to do that anytime soon let's go ahead and grab irrigation all right, you have finished your holy site. It took forever. Good job. I'm so proud. You have no production. Yikes. Okay, the capital might have to help out with that a little bit. Uh, I think we should go ahead and swap in colonization already. Yeah, that's a four-turn settler. That's much nicer. Going up to pop six in a moment. Go ahead and bring this builder back. All right, all right, that might work. 
Um, you're just going to stay fortified. Here is defense. If we take out this camp, this archer will absolutely murder my warrior. I don't really want my warrior to be murdered, so we're going to scoot him down just a little bit, have him heal up, and then maybe go take out that barbarian camp. Honestly, I think this builder is needed much more intensively in Angkor Wat to get it going a little bit. And in fact, I'm going to come here and swap this tile over to Angkor Wat. That's going to help a ton get a little production in that city. Angkor Tom, you are working two unimproved hills tiles, so we are going to want another builder in here soon, too. Okay, there's our next settler. So, where do we want to put this guy now? I honestly think it's not a bad idea to try to fill out uh, the west a little more. I don't need to worry about competition from the AI for pretty much any of this coastal area. I think that India is more likely to settle their coast rather than to come all the way east of Buenos Aires as well. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to send a settler in this direction. I don't know where I'm going to settle exactly. One, two, three, four. Could settle directly on the geothermal fissure. Wouldn't be horrible. So I think I think we're going to plan on doing that, and we'll probably do something like... Holy site, probably here. It's not amazing, but it gets the job done. Got a good, good enough campus over in this direction, don't I? No? I don't? What about here? That's a plus three. If we put another one here, it would be plus four, plus five. Ooh, yeah, that works for me. So we'll have plenty of decent science coming in from really just these three cities that'll tide us over for a pretty good chunk of the game. Okay, and I think we'll call that the end of the first episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and stay tuned for the next installment. See you next time.